Hey guys, it's Brian here at Martial Arts Fitness Center. Gonna show you a few stretches that you can use to help improve so your So the first squat. stretch that we're gonna do is a modified pigeon. So I wanna get my front leg at about 90 degrees. I'm gonna bring my back leg out to the side and I can kick this leg out a little bit. My hand's gonna go at my knee and on the floor by my foot. I'm gonna keep my chest up nice and tall and hinge forward right into a stretch. I'm gonna hold this stretch for about 20 to 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna use a contract relax. So I'm gonna take my foot and I'm gonna to try to press my ankle down into the floor. So I'm gonna press down 10 times, Good, and then after 10, I'm gonna take it down into a deeper stretch. Hold for another 20 to 30 seconds. And then I'll press my foot in 10 more times, trying to push my ankle down into the floor. Good, and then one last time, take it down into a stretch. At least 30 seconds, I could hold it a little longer. Good, and then I'll make sure I switch and do the other side. So the second stretch we're gonna do is a modified downward dog. Now if you know a runner's stretch on the wall, it's gonna almost look like that with my hands on the floor. So I'm gonna get myself down here, and then I'm gonna take one leg and bring it forward. I wanna keep my heel down into the floor. And then I'm gonna do is hold this for 20 to 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna to try to do a heel raise with my back leg 10 times. Good, and then I come back into the stretch, making sure that I keep my back leg, my knee very straight. I'm gonna hold for another 20 to 30 seconds, and then I'll do 10 more heel raises. Good, and another hold, 30 seconds or so, and switch sides. The third one we're gonna do today is a low squat position. We're gonna get down into this position and hold it, and then I'm gonna show you a trick that you guys can use uh, with a small stool. I'm gonna use some medicine balls to demonstrate. We're gonna get down into this position and work on holding it for up to five minutes. So we might start with just holding it for a minute or two, whatever we can tolerate, and build up. So I wanna to start to work my toes forward or close to going forward. I'm gonna keep my chest nice and tall and I'm gonna squat down, put the elbows right inside of my knees, pushing out against my knees. And then I'm gonna sit and just hold this position for up to five minutes. I can rock back and forth, forward back, kind of roll my hips back and forth to open them up more. So this is a really good position if you can get down low or close to it. So not everybody's gonna be able to do that, that's okay. I can use something to support myself, put myself into the same position, toes forward, come down, squat, push the knees out, open up. The main thing I wanna make sure is that if I'm sitting here using something to support me, I still have good posture and I'm feeling a stretch. So if I'm not feeling a stretch, then I'm not getting a stretch. Okay, I don't have to be killing myself, but I definitely need to feel it. I can then progress down to a smaller stool, or in this case, a smaller medicine ball, get myself into the same position, squat down, and work on pressing out against my knees, getting that stretch.